what is happening y'all i promised you a video with all that stuff to show you what i got recently from amazon finally took the plunge and went ahead and picked me up the stuff that's gonna pick me up no what i did is i went and ordered the stuff that i have been putting off forever to get because i didn't know when i was gonna go on van life I didn't know when I was going to take off, if I was going to take off, what was going to happen. But now, I'm going to show you what I got. And it's no big deal. A lot of people get these things. But to me, it's a time where I'm finally putting it all together. And it's a thing that, now that I finally have this, this stuff, I can see a picture of how the van's going to be and how I'm gonna survive out on the road. First off, you guys know that I bought the EV700, the Blue Eddy, 700 watts of awesome power. This thing fully charges everything that I have. And when I had the TV in the van, it's a little 20 inch Vizio. This thing, I had my phone plugged into it and the TV on all half the day or part of the day and all night into the morning and this thing kept it going and that was without any kind of charging or solar power or anything so now i might have to be mindful of how long i keep the tv on or whatever but i won't really worry about it since um i now have something else and it actually charges at about 190 something watts so with the solar panel on the roof rack run into the van it will be charging this on all sunny days which is awesome and when i'm driving i could plug that bad boy in and it will charge to the lighter and i have a transformer that will plug it uh, this into it and charge it at 100 watts the other thing that i got is the Apricool. I got the beautiful refrigerator freezer. This thing goes deep all the way down in there. The basket comes out. So you can just take it out and get through all your stuff. And without having to take it all out. And a little freezer, you can run it all as a freezer or all as a refrigerator. Pretty darn cool. With that running all the time, I'm going to set it low at the lowest, possibly set it to keep things frozen in the freezer area and things cool in the refrigerator area. I also have the cooler, which is like a Yeti cooler, that if I freeze the bricks in here and switch them out, I could always keep that cool enough like a refrigerator and use this as a freezer. Zane. So I have a solar panel. Apricool running off of this bad boy and my TV as well as charging phones and stuff. I'll be mindful to charge my phone while I'm driving in the front and keep that charged. And then that way, if it's plugged in here during the night and I'm watching uh, YouTube or whatever, I can do that on the, the iPhone. But when it comes to... Um, watching TV I can watch my movies on the bigger screen and it's super nice in the van super nice I love it I had it in there on a rack before but this time we're making a wall you will see when we're done on Sunday you guys will see it I'll have it all in there the mattress everything so I could kind of show you what's up but you know it's going to be an evolution it's going to build it's going to be thrown in there it's going to be over time things are going to get where they get and I'm going to be doing things the way I do it pretty awesome the other thing I just got is, which I will be installing, is this Shore Power plug. This thing you got, you need a two inch drill hole, which I just got, and it, you stick the cord through, and that will be in the van, and this goes flush. It has a lid that seals up for weather, and you can, that'll be on the outside of the van for when I'm park somewhere that I can plug in. I'll have an extension cord that'll run right to the house or wherever I'm at. And I could plug it right in there and 
not worry about solar. And I'd imagine at some point, there will be times when I'm just wanting to chill at a cool rental place and uh, rent a spot, plug in and the whole bit. So that's cool. So far, we got the solar panel, we got the Apricool, we got the, the uh, AC port plug for shore power. We got the EB70. And I also got, and I know that you're gonna give me a hard time, some of you, because I always said, I don't wanna put any holes in the van and I don't wanna screw things in the walls. And well, people, I have finally taken out the back seats, the very back stow and go seats, the ones that go in the floor at the back of the Sienna. I've taken those out. I've created the storage. You guys aren't gonna see it uh, when you see it, but I'm, I've did the whole subfloor over. I have the storage area. And now the next thing that I have got is, it's gonna need a 17 inch hole, 17 inch square. What is it? It is the Max Fan Deluxe. Of course, he went and did it. The Max Fan Deluxe. I can't even imagine myself living anywhere warm and not having some way to cool it down inside. The Max Fan will definitely cool it down. I've heard that it will take it down from a 95, 100 degree day to 80, 85 degrees. If that's true, I'm stoked because it will create a suction because it blows out and it blows in. You can suck all that heat out of the car. And also with the window in the front open, some kind of flow, it'll create a cyclone. And then if you have a fan on you, you can really rock it. And then some say freeze bottles of water in your little freezer and have them next to you. Some kind of something that's cold, you can put it next to you in the hot summer, ways to cool off during the summer in a van. So, we have the Max Fan, the 200 watt solar panel, the EV70 Blue Eddy, the Apricool freezer refrigerator, and what else could we need in a cold winter? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a zero degree sleeping bag <laughs> from Cabela's, which I got. And it is fantastic. It's an extra large rectangle, zero degree, down to minus 17 and seven Celsius. That is a serious bag. I have it right here, actually. And I can show you right now that they mean business. This is not a joke. This area up in here, is all padding and there's a um there's a string here that'll cinch where you can get that whole opening at the top because it's extra long you can pull it way over your head cinch it and that bad boy will keep you totally warm you know what's funny though is even when it's warm to where i'm fine and i don't need that it is still comfortable i'm not sweating I haven't sweat in that thing once. So it seems like an all the time bag to me to where it's not only keeping you warm from super cold weather, but it's also not overheating you when you're not too hot or not too cold. So that's pretty awesome. I've been wanting a zero degree sleeping bag forever because I know that in a lot of the places I go in the winter time, it gets super cold and I slept without it. I also have a 30 degree bag that I can utilize, but I'll have that. And I'll have the zero. That is a $175 sleep bay. It was 200 the last time I checked, 199. And I thought, wow, that's a lot, and I didn't get it. This time, I got it, it's killer. It's got three straps that, all, that latch and click together, and it's very well done, very heavy duty. The padding at the top, like I said, it has a big bag for carrying and I'm using that for my laundry right now. So as a beautiful zipper, it's heavy duty handle. I don't even use that for the bag. So bonus, got the bag too. Zero degree sleeping bag, beautiful. And I got the Max Fan Deluxe. I'm gonna have to run that in cause that's gonna be running off the battery too. 
I'm not sure how much power is going to be going out, but I don't think I'll be using everything at the same time. Maybe I will. I'll be watching TV, the fan blowing full on, um, running the refrigerator night and day, charging my phones. How long do you think that's going to last? I don't know. But uh, Blue Eddie. Yeah. Blue Eddie. Blue Eddie. Yeah. Call me. I'll do a commercial for my 317 subscribers. And I will need more battery power eventually. But for now, I'll have to be strategic in how I use what I have. The 700 watts has that life power, which will run something that needs a lot more kick to get started, like a blender, a blow dryer. This, this battery will handle that. I plug my blow dryer into it. Um, I plug my blender into it. I have a beautiful Vitamix, which will be in the van for smoothies. So all I need to do is make sure I'm in some sunny places, man. And I'll always have power. Isn't that beautiful? But Blue Eddie, like I said, that 3000 watt, I could use that. Let's make a deal. And we'll just talk about you all the time. Sound good? All right, good. And then we'll have that uh, 3000 water powering everything with no issues. So I'm excited. I still have some insulation to do. Um, I will be sleeping it in that van ASAP, hopefully by this weekend after we finish out that build because I want so bad to be back in the van. I don't care to sleep in the shop. I do not have a house. I do not rent an apartment. I am a van lifer. Even though I have a business that's full time, I sleep in the van. My mattress is usually in there right now. It's leaning right there because I've been in here for a couple of weeks since I've taken everything out of the van and I'm building the floor over. So the floor's done. The storage in the back is done. It's really cool. I've cut it so that one side could be an extended wall with the drawer coming out of it. You will see the counter in there when I'm done. And uh, the storage is beautiful. It fits my battery on its side or on its back. I can slide it under. I'm, I've got a thing so I can put the lock on there and lock that up. Put my electronics, my laptop, make it really hard on somebody that wants to get in and steal my stuff. They're gonna have to move my junk. They're gonna have to be making themselves really obvious that they want my stuff to the, to the world. And don't let me be catching you in the back of my van. Thank you very much. This has been a public announcement. Anyway, I'm really stoked about the Max Fan. It's awesome. The Max Fan is awesome. Extreme close up. Ah! Thank you, Wayne's World. Um, beautiful fridge. Beautiful Max Fan. Beautiful solar panel. Beautiful zero degree bag. And I have loved this battery for about four months now. It has come through. That is a serious battery. I've got it plugged in and using it. I've had it all over. I took it all the way to stinking uh, Cincinnati, Ohio from Texas. So quite the drive, used it all the way. Guess what? I didn't have to charge it one time. That one charge, I took the trip all the way out to Cincinnati and back, about a four day trip. 